Hi Aquarius, thank you for watching T's Tarot. Uh, we are looking at your energy for the next three months. So that's May, June, and July. Uh, we're going to be using three Oracle decks, uh, Messages from Your Spirit Guides, um, The Keepers of the Light, and Angel Answers. Okay, I'm going to draw a message from your Spirit Guides um, at the beginning. We're doing the Tree of Life um reading for your three months, next three months. We're going to be diving in and really tackling what those issues are that we're dealing with um, for May, June, and July. These karmic lessons, sometimes we just deal with things as they come, but then when we look back, we're like, why am I dealing with the same type of scenario each and every time? It's karmic lessons. We're here to learn to love, and by doing so, we learn to overcome these karmic lessons, karmic contracts with people, different scenarios that were like, why is it, am I facing this again? I thought I dealt with it last month, last week, yesterday, here, this issue shows up, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be conflict. It could be just something that you're needing to pay more attention to, um, more awareness. Okay. So we're going to go right into the core of the issue and we're going to, um, Find out how to move past these, um, you know, our karma, you know, our past karma. It's it's from past um, lives, right? So we're meeting people from our past lives and there's energy that we're needing to, you know, fill out um, these lessons, right? And when we learn to uh, do so, we learn to love ourselves. We understand uh, people more and we're more inclined to just, you know, be at peace, be okay with it. But sometimes it's great to just put those issues, those, um, you know, situations that just cause concern and strife and sometimes like, you know, um, anxiety, depression, you know. So we're going to look at that um, to bring in joy, okay? Because sometimes it's annoying when we're playing a replay over and over again, like it's a movie and we're pressing pause, we're rewinding it it's like that again. So we're going to figure out what is it. Um, it could be anything. It could just, I could get a message here. It just means you need to go out in nature more. And that's all the angels want to say. So we're going to figure out what's happening and how to move past so that you're happier. You're feeling more, um, you know, centered in your core. Your chakras are balanced. If there's anything that comes out um, that is triggering, please, you know, you can click off this um, video. Come back next week because we are going right deep to the center of the matter and figure out what is this karmic lesson all about? What is it trying to teach me? Okay. So I'm going to draw from your animal spirit guides. Okay. So for Aquarius, I hope you're doing super well. And of course, I'm super excited you're here. Uh, Tease Tarot. I'm going to be developing Tease Shorts. Uh, on YouTube. I'm going to call it T-Short. So take a look at that. They should be uploaded in the next week or so. Um, what else? There's um, ways to win. Um, Carol readings. Check the descriptions down below. I am ready. I am available for private readings as well. Uh, so we are on fire here. Um, I am feeling a peaceful energy with you already. I did Sagittarius and it was full of excitement and energy. With you, I'm, with you, I'm feeling very zen-like, just like uh, Aquarius energy, zen, creativity, fluidity, right? So we have Pui, the Hawaiian owl. It says, your ancestral spirit guides are offering your guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Or, hmm. Cool. So that owl is a wise owl. It may mean something to you. Um, I don't know if you collect owl um, type of figurines or uh, whatnot, but um, anyway, so that is your message from the animal spirit guides. Okay. And so we're going to get started. What is the issue that Aquarius is facing for May, June, and July? What is the issue? Aquarius. Aquarius energy. What are they facing? If you are they facing May, June, and July? Karmic lessons. And what actions are causing these issues for Aquarius? 
I will clarify and just to let you know there will be reversals, okay? Once again, if you do uh, find that you're getting triggered, some may, depending on the messages, um, feel free to just come back next time, okay? I'm going to draw the cards. I'm going to resonate on their energy. Um, and I will go through the cards with you. Okay. So Aquarius, the issue that you're facing is two of swords in reverse. Okay. And upright, um, you may know um, that she's guarding herself with a blindfold and these swords here that are crossing her. The moon is, um, you know, very, you know, it's not a full moon where there's like tons of intense emotions and things like that. So um, there's nothing going crazy in the background, you know, blue skies, and there's not like waves crashing at her. There's nothing in front of her. You see her feet are like, she can get up and walk away anytime, right? What she's sitting on doesn't even have a back. Like there's, it's, there's no real reason for her to be there. Um, so in reverse though, it, it like this is guarded energy, not wanting to look at the issues, right? Not wanting to look at things, um, you know, and not wanting to move forward. And you're just blocking people, places, things, whatever it is to you, career, money, love, whatever aspects of life, you're not wanting to because of fear, because of past um, experiences. Now in reverse though, the issue that you're facing is that you're ready to take off that blindfold. You do see in front of you you may see more than most in front of you, okay? You may see a lot of things um, from the past, a lot of um, future um, activity that you may be very, very insightful. This is someone that doesn't want to know anything from the universe, anything about the person they're dealing with, okay? And in reverse, you have dealt with these, um, you know, people, places, situations, things, and you don't need to wear a mask, okay? Like, you don't need to guard yourself. You're good that way, the actions um, that are causing you um, on your journey to have the two of swords in reverse is because you're open, guarded and not wanting to accept things, but you're open to um, other people's thoughts, their viewpoints, uh, situations that you're facing. You're open to that. Okay. So that's really, really good. Um, it's one of the cards I don't like, um, really getting for myself. If I'm doing my own reading, it's like, oh, two swords again. It's not facing your fears, but you have faced your fears and you're quite, um, open in receiving and giving. Okay. Even though there's been times that you have been fearful, sad, lonely, you're open. Okay. You're open to life and what it has to offer. The other side of the issue, what's being manifested is basically you are manifesting. You are going within. Uh, this is the hermit in upright. You're going within and you're seeking your own spirit for wise counsel. You're asking yourself very important questions. Um, you're coming up with conclusions. Uh, you're mastering your um, persona. You're mastering your situation. You have a guiding light that's showing you who you are and you're not afraid to um, show who you are and you're not afraid to withdraw um, and just go within and just check check in on yourself. Well, you know, how can I make this situation any different? Okay, that's what I have so far. 
Um, and you are manifesting when you're doing that because it's a healing energy when the hermit goes within. You know, they're not really wanting to go out and shake things up on the town. They're like tucked away like, okay, I'm just going to feel my uh, vibration, ask myself important questions um, about soul ties, karmic lessons, you know, things you're dealing with at work, having a bad day, the hermit will go within and be like, okay, processing, processing. And then, you know, when the hermit's ready, they will come out wiser, mastering, you know, their energy and how they move along in the world. Okay. And also how they teach others to do that as well. Okay. So what um, forces are acting against you is the fool energy, which is really the opposite of the hermit, okay? Because um, this is the, like the fool on his journey, like, you know, ready to fly, ready to go, hopping on a train, hopping on a, a bus or plane and like off and running and carefree, right? And off on a new adventure. So because um, you are the other side of the issue, the hermit, the energy of the hermit is the other side of the issue. What's being manifested. It could be a fool's journey. It could be, um, you know, going off on a new adventure, doing something new. Because you are open to anything that really comes your way. Okay. So you could just hop out of hermit mode when you're ready and be like, okay, I'm off on a new journey. But why it's acting against you, it may be that, um, I will clarify, but um you're manifesting in hermit mode. So that's where you're um, drawing your strength from. And this is a force against you because you're kind of like, I want to get out. I want to get out. I, I, I need to hermit mode. I need to hermit mode. I want to get out. So that's what's happening here. And, but you're open to it. So it's almost like your spirit's like wanting to, and your um, energy is wanting to get up and go. But the other side of the issue is you're being asked to draw back into hermit mode. Now you may go one day, you may be an Aquarius and I, and I really can see this um, greatly is, you know, you're the star sign. Okay. You're the healer, the healing sign. You bring a lot of healing and hope and, um, you know, feelings of dreams and fantasy, and you are whimsical like the fool. But then with the healing energy, you, with, like say you're going into, you know, a pool of water at a lake or an ocean, and you, you know, feel very much uh, the energy of the water washing through you. Um, you're, you could be like uh, feeling a healing energy as you're the hermit is healing you with this cloak. Now picture it as a cloak of water. OK, just sort of like bouncing off you, the waves and things like that, the waves, the crashing, you know, being splashed and things. That's like a healing energy that Aquarius is very, very much in tune with. OK, even though you're an air sign, of course. And so I think the battle or not even battle, the issue you're facing is you, you know, you need to heal. You know, you need to surround yourself with warmth and comfort of, you know, any healing aspect that there is. Okay. Whatever that is to you, you will know. I used water as a, as a uh, metaphor, but then you're wanting to go. You're wanting to go back. You're wanting to go. And that could be the two of swords in reverse too. It's like, you don't know any, if you want to be the hermit or the fool right now. And so those are the two uh, paradigms that you're facing is, yeah, I want to get out there and wait, I'm just going to go in for a minute. Yeah, I wanted to go try something this or, or do something, you know, fun. And then it's like, wait, Hermit needs needs me right now. So, but you are aware of that with the two of swords in reverse. You are aware. And that is like Aquarius energy, very healing, aware of their dreams, desires, what they need to do to heal. Okay, so. Okay, so you have the sun card in reverse. Okay. These are your feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And I really see the connection with the hermit and the fool because the sun is in reverse. This is joy, bliss, um, you know, happy times, coming together with friends and loved ones and just enjoying each other. This is like the happiest card on the deck. You see how happy, playful the child is. You know, nothing can go wrong. They're on this pony and like, you know, carefree, just like the fool. But you're wanting to go on this journey, 
Okay. Because you are not, um, you know, feeling like the sun and upright. You could be sad. Um, you could be feeling, you know, um, a sense of trouble, um, some sort of um, grief, possibly, um, self-doubt, you know. So things that stagnate the feeling of fun, energy, happy times, you know, so uh, peaceful and, you know, living in joy. You're not feeling like you can do it. Um, do that uh, at this time, even though you have the full energy. Because really, you have more to do with the hermit guiding your light on the inside than you do on the outside. So already we have the hermit, which is like the other side of the issue. What the angels want you to realize is, yeah, you have nothing that you can't do. And we know that you uh, face your fears fearlessly and you're not afraid at all with the two of swords. But in order to turn this around, you do need to withdraw into hermit energy even if you want, you know, so much to just get up and go and, you know, um, all the adventures and seeking fun times because, you know, you'll possibly enjoy it more once you do withdraw and go within with the hermit. So I think the hermit is very significant for you. And then, so Aquarius, you're the star and your deeper hitting, hidden emotions, which I don't, you know, I don't like to see the star or the sun in reverse. Okay. Especially for Aquarius though. Okay. So Aquarius energy, these are your deeper thoughts, emotions. So this is outside emotions, sadness. Okay. Deeper hidden emotions with the star is wishes unfulfilled, dreams unfulfilled, um, fantasies unfulfilled, um, desires not met. That is how, what you're feeling deep within that you may not show the outer world which is why it is, again, important to hermit your energy, go within and look inside for that star, that desire, that um, love for yourself. You know, I'm sure you do love yourself. I'm not saying you don't. I'm saying that, you know, find that desire within you and really, really see she's reaching there. You see her with the water spilling back and forth. It's ever flowing. All of this is ever flowing. So really the water will, you know, cycle around, of course, right? So, and she's quite inhibited and in like, she's not wearing any clothes, right? And, you know, she does this big, huge star. That's who she is, the star. She can, you know, be and do whatever she wants because she is the star. Feeling like this as an Aquarius, um, remember it is Mercury retrograde, okay? So feeling, you know, not as much joy and, you know, your dreams are just sort of like put to the side and not, and you're not um, living your dream. That's um, the deeper hidden emotions that people may not see. And so moving forward, your physical environment though is a 10 of pence. So you have a happy family. Your environment is surrounded by love. You have all of the, you know, um, essence of luxury and, you know, abundance and you feel abundant and you feel creative and happy in your home security, uh, longevity in terms of pence, you know, able to have generation wealth for your whole family. Um, but you're feeling unfulfilled. Um, D deep within and I'm not sure if people know that you are feeling sad I think possibly you do have the strength card coming up and possibly you are putting on a brave face um you know going into your quiet time so that you will have you know these moments again because this is your environment this is what you're used to so possibly right now it doesn't feel like this to you Possibly right now your home doesn't feel as, you know, joyful as it was for some reason or as happy as it used to be for some reason. And possibly your dreams that where you used to, you know, um, have all your dreams met, possibly for some reason these are in reverse and we're going to figure out why. And I'm definitely going to clarify those cards because this is what you're used to in your physical environment. Something's happened, okay? Okay. So we're going to move, but they are saying that before any of these other events that um, do uh, in May, June, July, 
Um, please know that going into that hermit energy, people always say, oh, I, you know, those hermits, those hermits, no, wise people go within when they need to withdraw and figure out this is big. This is big to both these two be counterparts from each other, you know, the, your deep emotions. This is big. This is something to look at. This is something to um, withdraw from, you know, the world and just have a safe place where you feel comforted. You know, and you do have a safe place where you feel comforted, okay? But it's time to bring back the joy. But um, just know that going within and seeking your own counsel, feeling the emotions, wonder, asking why is my are my desires so far behind? Why haven't I met them yet? Um, why aren't I living my dream right now? Why aren't I feeling joy like I used to? Okay, so those are the issues, okay? And you're not afraid of, you know, feeling joy, okay? You're not afraid of life. It's not because of a fear. It's because you're needing to retract and really ask yourself, what is it that I desire? What is it that will make me happy, okay? You have a comforting home and people that love you. So um, please know that, okay? How people see you, and I get this, I really, really get this with you, Aquarius, um, how people see you is the King of Cups. You're the one that loves. You're the one that cares and nurtures. You're the one that gives and also um, builds the home, builds the, ha builds the happy home for others. You're the one that is like the um, person in your home that pays the bills. Um, you're the responsible one, okay? So people see you because you're doing so many things for everybody around you, but you're not feeling as satisfied in your dreams and desires and your fun and fulfillment of joy and happiness. So, but they don't know this. These are your hidden feelings. And so um, they're seeing you as the king of cups. You've got this. You know how to love your family. You know how to, you know, create pence. You know how to, you know, leave a legacy for your family because you do care because you are the king of cups, but that takes a lot of work. That takes a lot of work to build this, but this many people, all of the surrounding dog included takes a lot of work. And it seems like you're the, you're the master of your domain of creating this abundance, um, success, you know, you have that, but you're like, I just want to go off and do my own thing. I want to have my own adventures, but you have responsibilities. And people see you as the king of cups. So because you're the king of cups, the one that gives generously, um, okay, I feel like it's time to look at yourself and look at the star and look at, you know, how you can um, bring back that glow, okay, where you don't feel that you're the one that has to provide has to be obligated to give and nurture, you know, there, there should be, um, you know, there's two people here and there's a, a, an older man there and dogs needs to be shared. Okay. So maybe the burden is the home, the structure of the home, possibly. Okay. Um, feelings of loss, possibly of something to do with the home or the structure or the security. Okay. And you're feeling that. And what people still see you as and what they admire about you and how you're, you're um, shown to them is the King of Cups, that you're just going to be loving, giving, loving, giving, compassionate, there for everybody. And the actions to take and what they want you to focus on is strength. This is Leo energy. So um, going into July, end of June, July. So they're saying, you know, drop your strength, reach in that core. Again, I always like to, when I do have these come up in a spread, if this is also um, star energy as well, it's temperance, and this is also temperance. So healing energy. So you see, he's needing to reach in with this light, and she's reaching in the line. She's finding the strength to reach within to bring up healing, love, and abundance, infinity, okay? And you are drawing up the courage and the, and the um, bravery to go within. And you're not afraid. You already know that. You're not afraid. You're going to do it. And you're going to feel happy again. 
when we go into hermit mode, we learn so much. It's like we're asking ourselves questions we never had time or gave us time to ask before. Okay. The long-term posing, opposing effects is that, um, you know, hermit energy, fool energy. What do I want to do? I want an adventure. I want to go out. I want to do this. And I want to do that, that and kick up my heels and create this and create that and go, go, go. If, uh, and so these are beside each other. So, uh, King of Cups, Knight of Cups. Okay. The opposing forces acting event against you. There is a Knight of Cups. Okay. Some sort of, um, knight with a king and possibly you're needing to take care of a knight or there's a love energy between you um but these are forces that are act acting against you so pay attention to who's in your surrounding because a knight of cups is unsteady with a cup you can see if i you know came to you on a horse while you're sitting there it's going to be you know spilling all over so pay attention to that make sure you're protecting your own emotions um, before others. Okay. Because, um, there used to be a time, um, I know my aunt, my grandparents and my parents, you do want to others before yourselves. You do help others. You got to lend a hand. And I do agree. You do, um, lend a hand, be kind, all those things, but we, they were not taught to love themselves. They were almost um, tactless in the efforts they would give to themselves like nothing. Oh, no, no, I don't I don't need to relax. I don't need to, um, you know, have my favorite food. I don't need this. I don't I have to give it to my family. I have to give it to my loved ones. And then um, we were, the generation was like, oh, then that person's last. OK, so we, they never were taught. They were never taught to love themselves. They were taught to just give others lend a hand be that be there for them you know if someone calls you go running and that's what i'm feeling your energy is really going through right now a mishmash of um you know you're not afraid you're not um you are very aware of this um but imagine growing up with that mentality is never thinking of yourself um, and I feel that's what's happening, but you are drawing strength to say, you know what, if I'm going to have my desires met, I'm needing to um, dive in, just like take time, like temperance and the star to make sure that I'm loved first because there's a knight of cups that's like, here you go. And they love, but they don't have the capacity to love like a king. So I feel what it's asking you is to, instead of, um, you know, you this could be also emphasize you from another time or like going through May, June and July, like I'm not ready to love myself fully. I don't really feel like I'm, you know, I got to love everybody else and be compassionate and be there for everybody else and put my energy towards them. But then this star won't turn upright. And that's where you're, um, that's where you meet yourself is the star energy. So, and that's where these, the king and the queen, uh, the king and the knight of cups, okay, he's coming towards them like this on the spread. It's like, yeah, we need to pour more love into the king, okay? Also, letting people know that you're taking time to love yourself. Nothing wrong with that. That could be the fool's journey. Taking time, however long, to love yourself. That is an adventure in itself when we use the hermit energy. Okay. And then what you're supposed to learn about all of the spread here with the tree of life is the world. Closing the book, closing the past ways of doing things. If it is, you know, you were taught possibly, I know many people, the generation above me, um, the uh, baby boomers, so giving, always there for one another. Um, you know, they would knock on each other's door and just say, hey, you know, even for sugar or milk or anything, gladly given. You know, we don't we don't do much of that or call. I need to chat. Spend an hour on the phone. Of course, we would do that. Oh, my, you know, so-and-so needs this. Okay, I'll bring it over every day of the week. Okay, so we're learning a new way of speaking our truth that our desires our dreams matter our joy matters okay um and our love matters okay because we need to get the knight of cups that could spill the water out 
any old time and then be empty if he's not careful. And we need to close that and we need to bridge the gap so that you can, you know, start fresh. All right. So the issue is you need to um, love yourself more. Spend time loving yourself more if it's a creative pursuit because the cups are very creative, very creative, very intuitive, uh, very kind, very generous, generous. <laughs> Um, and then what we have at the bottom of the deck is devil energy. So that could be overworking, um, you know, your love cup so that the, it's not, it's being spilled out. It's, um, not filled with joy. So possibly, um, you haven't had time for yourself on a fool's journey that you just have solitude, tranquility, you know, you've never given yourself that time. Um, and there's like a temptation with you. I feel that is just like, go, 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 go. I want to work and work. And you're needing to um, listen when the devil comes up because it is drawing you into like, no, you need to give more to so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. But the the devil energy here is saying, you know, showing up to say, because that's what he's trying. He doesn't want you to have bliss and he doesn't want you to have your wishes and dreams fulfilled. So if you are giving pence because this is in your physical environment, your comforted home right beside the star energy and the um, sun in reverse, look at your home environment. What area, when you go within the hermit mode, because he's showing up to say, look at your home and see who's offering any help to you. I'm going to draw some um, oracles for you. First from the Keepers of Light. So I hope you enjoyed your th next three months reading. Really, it, it's just about self-care, just about, you know, giving yourself love first because, you know, we do all have a birthright of, you know, our dreams and desires being fulfilled and meeting those dreams and desires and being joyful, peaceful, you know, living in the sun. So I feel that if you do take a fool's journey, which is something new, maybe you haven't had time to reflect on areas the past few years. Um, we've had hard times. We've gone through a lot of different things the past few years. All of us have. So taking that step back just to look at what it is in your family that you may want to you know, say, I'm, I'm going to take a step back from this and I'm just going to, uh, this say duty or whatever it is, responsibility. And I'm going to, instead of doing this, you could do that. And I'm going to give to myself. So, um, I feel like that is, and you're fearless anyway. So, um, I think that is what's needed in May, June, July, just taking a step back, you know, going into hermit mode and then coming out to the sun and, uh, you know, really, really, really coming out stronger in your desires. You will come out stronger with the strength because you've reached so, so far in to um, bring those desires to the core, to the surface, from the core to the surface. I hope that makes sense. If you like the reading, if it resonates, um, please hit that button. Now this is going to be my format. Um, not always the tree of life, different areas of, you know, life as well. But I am doing longer formats because I was trying to get the timing down all the time for years and it just hasn't worked out for me. So this is my normal um, time of readings. Okay. But I am going to be doing shorts, tease shorts. Okay. So take a look at that for quick energy uh, check-ins. Okay. So for Aquarius, okay, they said draw two. So I'm not worrying about my time because it's about the message. And however, that um, the angels come through for me in communication, that's how I deliver it. And so I'm going with um, their timing, your guides, the messages you need to hear. Um, so I'm not worried about time anymore um, of my videos, even though um, you may like the 20 minute videos, you know, 15, 10 minute videos. I know I do. 
Um, but check those out if you like. Um, anyways, so, and also look forward to tease short. So we have St. Germain karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Make room with you and the hermit <laughs> energy um, and release. Create your own path. And that's the fool's energy too that we spoke of already. St. Kumara, light activation. Shine your light. Did we not talk about that? Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay. Similarities. Hello. Okay. I'm going to draw one more just because I like that so much. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Exactly. So very much um, reflect your reading. One more card from Angel Answers. Remember, when the devil shows up, um, just know that he's he needs you to love yourself more. Okay, anytime you feel like, oh, I'm going to do this for someone else, take a second, check in with yourself and, and, you know, step back a bit, right? Say, wait, what if I did that? Then I don't get to do what I was going to do. You know, if that adds up, then you're doing for everybody else and never yourself. Okay, so there we go. That's your message for your next three months to really draw in your energy people do um, things for you because <laughs> it looks like you're working hard very hard loving others caring for others it says within the next few months it's up to you If you had a question and you wanted to know the answer, um, the an and you've been resonating on that lately, or will be in May, June, and Ju July, whatever questions you may have, it says unlikely, okay? I'm going to draw one more for you. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready to be the hermit. I like when I get to be the hermit. <laughs> So anyways, that's your reading. Thank you for watching uh, Tease Tarot Aquarius, your three months reading, May, June, July. So um, yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Please know that you will be entering into a contest to win a free reading with T. All right, I'll see you next time.